Okay, so good. So when they at this tangent, at this intersection between the two curves, the value between this equation, let me color it that way, and then this equation should be the same. Okay, you can do that on paper to get what is the x value, all right? What is the x value that make this line and that line the same, okay? You can do that on paper and you can do that on Excel. But I'm, I will do another thing. Let's plot this, okay, against that. Okay, I will, okay, I will borrow that curve. I delete this one, delete this one. Okay, so delete the regression, just change it like this. Okay, and then just reset. Okay, and just change it to DFW with respect to DSW. Okay, so because we have a curve like this, okay, because we have a curve like this, first we go down, all right, we have a valley there. We, if I'm not mistaken, is concave, all right? Okay, and then we go up and then we go like that. Okay, so we have a turn in point there and that's exact, exactly the tangent line, the, the tangent position between the straight line and the curve, okay? And that happened actually at this point, okay? At this point, okay? And we can identify that point, the DFW and DSW, the maximum DFW, DSW, which is actually the the... The, the maximum derivative, we can easily find that by using, yeah, max DFW, DSW. Sorry. Okay, it's, yeah. 0 0.0042, which is actually here. Okay. Oh, sorry, we make a mistake here in in the way we construct the DFW, DSW. Okay. Because it's actually the, the logic is like this. So if I go here, Actually, we can construct many, many tangent lines. So if I make it, so this is one tangent line, and then we can also make this way the tangent line, and then right another tangent line. So you can do that. Okay, to touch all the point. But of course, it's not practical to do that. But if you if you do this way, you will conclude that the, 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 the touching point between the fractional flow curve and the straight line is actually, uh, it's, it, it occurs at the highest tangent. Okay, I'm going to show you. So we need to, correct this one, it should be, we make it dollar like this, and it's also put dollar like that, and there. Okay. All right. So make sure 
here, you make this as a constant and also this initial water saturation because actually we, we construct or we, we make tangent line, straight line starting from that initial point, okay? And if you check this DFW with respect to DSW versus water saturation, you get that. Okay. And the intersection, the crossing point, the touching point between the fractional flow curve and the tangent line will occur at this highest point. Okay. Which is at water saturation of 43.3%, which is very, very close with this one, right? It's not very close, it's actually it, okay? So, and we can also find it next, the FW, the SW, okay? And just find it using Excel. Okay, it occurs at this one. Okay. 